mask off. I'm standing out here on uh, the middle of the South Bay on the Hermosa Beach Pier. Behind me is, you can see the marina. If you look real hard and there's Redondo Beach right there. And the peninsula there, that's Palos Verdes Peninsula. And that's where they keep Palos Verdes. <laughs> Isn't that weird? I'm on the north side of the pier now looking north. And if you look down there, that's the um, iconic Manhattan Beach roundhouse at the end of the Manhattan Beach Pier. So the beach cities are to the north of Hermosa is Manhattan and then El Segundo and then LAX and then back to Hermosa then further south is Redondo Beach and Redondo Beach touches the peninsula. But South Santa Monica Bay is a wonderful place to live. It's away from the noise of LA, it's laid back, beach community, several cities. I'm only focusing on the three beach cities of the South Bay, you know, Redondo Beach, Hermosa Beach, Manhattan Beach. They're all known for their laid back lifestyle, really great schools, nearly perfect weather year round, amazing restaurants and great surfing. The average temperature is 72 degrees. Because of all this, real estate is expensive here. Redondo Beach is the largest of the beach cities and it has a population around 68,000. It's a little over six square miles and it's got a mile and a half of beachfront. I'm on the Esplanade right now and here in the South Redondo. And I'm going towards the Riviera Village, going south. Being up on this cliff, the views are amazing of the rest of the South Bay. Now I'm cruising up Catalina and the Riviera Village is ahead. And now we're in the Riviera Village. It's a small downtown area, great restaurants, bars, boutique shops, small businesses, and it's also got a bonds. South Redondo has the beach, the pier, the harbor, ocean views, the high school, and it's the furthest away from any freeways. So commuting can take a bit longer because of this, but it's also a reason to live here. North Redondo wraps around the backside of both Hermosa Beach and Manhattan Beach, which makes it the closest to any freeway. Thus making commuting from North Redondo is much easier than from South if you have to use the freeway. Also, North Redondo is closest to all the employment centers like Northrop Grumman, all the aerospace, plus the tech employers as well. So the South Bay Galleria Mall is at the top corner of North Redondo and the Artesia uh, Commercial Corridor connects to the 405 freeway all the way to the Pacific Coast Highway at Hermosa Beach. Now Artesia is actually the 91 freeway eventually. There's the Redondo Beach Performing Arts Center as well. While North Redondo Beach doesn't offer any ocean views, real estate values are a little bit less there because of that and therefore make North Redondo Beach more affordable to live than the other beach cities. And the lot sizes there are generally smaller in North Redondo as well and North and South Redondo Beach are divided by 190th Street. Okay, so the Hollywood Riviera is at the south end of the South Bay, and it's sandwiched between South Redondo Beach and Palos Verdes Estates on the peninsula. And homes in the Hollywood Riviera, now it's tricky, they have a Redondo Beach postal address, yet they're in the city of Torrance. Thus, Redondo Beach address, Torrance services and schools. And because of this, Ocean View Real Estate is some of the least expensive in the South Bay. Hermosa Beach, it's the smallest of all the beach cities with a population around 19,000. It's just under 1.5 square miles and it has almost two miles of beachfront. Quaint little downtown area and Pier Avenue and Hermosa Avenue with lots of amazing restaurants and bars and boutique shops and small businesses. I'm on uh, the end of Pier Plaza. The pier is in that way and Pier Plaza is here. A lot of fun restaurants and places to eat, bars, right here at the end of Pier. Pier Avenue has a lot of that same stuff too. Aren't we having fun? East and West Hermosa Beach are divided by Pacific Coast Highway, we call PCH. The north end of Hermosa has a few restaurants and bars. And here I am on the bike lane in the north end of Hermosa, headed north towards Manhattan Beach. And now here we are in the south end of Manhattan Beach, where the bike path that you see is split from the walk path on the strand. Now Manhattan Beach has a population of around 35,000 people. It's 3.9 square miles with 2.1 miles of beachfront. And East and West Manhattan Beach are divided by Pacific Coast Highway, but they call it Sepulveda just to confuse the tourists. Manhattan Beach has the iconic pier you've seen in many photos and videos. And the Roundhouse Aquarium is sitting out there on the end of the pier. 
It was recently remodeled, and if you haven't been in, stop by. It's really cool. The pier is celebrating its 100th anniversary in Manhattan Beach, but it isn't that pier. That pier is not 100 years old. It's had like three, I think. <laughs> Downtown Manhattan Beach has world-class restaurants, bars, boutiques, shops, and small businesses, and probably the best food scene in the South Bay. Now, real estate values in Manhattan Beach are the highest in the beach cities, FYI. Every city and even every neighborhood has its own flavor and feel, and there's just there's too many of them to go into detail on, but some people want to be close to schools and others want to be near the beach, and still others want to be close to the freeways. By the way, every beach city has at least one Trader Joe's. Hooray! If you'd like to know more information about living in the South Bay or how to buy a home here, click the link below and you can download my personal home buyer's guide. And there's tons of information on what and how and where and when to do it. Wherever it is that you want to be, there's lots of options. And there's nothing like living in the South Bay. Ciao.